Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing On and Off's Repackage album, City of On and Off. I have both versions and I hope you guys can ignore this piece of washi tape. Um, I actually got a new tripod and the camera is now above me so I can't really see what I'm doing exactly. So I'm using that to hopefully keep things centered um, so I'm in frame. But yeah, um, we're just gonna start with the on and off version, the pink one, and it's in this lovely bag packaging. I honestly don't know if on and off will ever have decent packaging again. Like I feel like the only nice packaging they had was for their second mini album. Um, but yeah, this is the front and the back, and this sticker was actually stuck to the bubble wrap that this came in. Um, so I'm going to try and remove it without... Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, let me try it off camera quickly. Okay, that was horrific. I literally butchered this sticker so much. Um, and like, even the parts where I was able to peel it up, it leaves this awful residue. WM, why? Why would you do this? Um, I think I'm just gonna try and cut the next one. Oh my god, okay. Just why? Why do companies think this packaging is acceptable? Ooh, oh my god, sorry if you can hear the car outside. Anyway, okay, um, CD. And I don't know where the cards are. I'm guessing this is the lyrics. So I love Ugly Dance. Um, it's great. I love the kind of tribute that it paid to Beautiful Beautiful. I absolutely love My Genesis, um, one of my favorite on and off songs, I think. And The Dreamer is also really nice. I'm uh, just really happy with the songs they added to um, this repackage album. It's the lyric book. And they have the photo book, so make sure I'm in frame. I'm going to take my cards out and hopefully not see them. Ah, I'm seeing stuff, okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm seeing them. Okay, okay. Okay, I saw one. <laughs> okay, let's go through the photo book. I'm pretty excited because the teaser pictures were gorgeous and I do not understand why they did not let Hyojin promote with this hairstyle. Like, why did they give him the red bowl cut again? I'm very confused because this is superior. But, oh my god, they all look so good. Like, why? Oh my god. Yes. I absolutely love everything about the styling for this. Like, Chengyun as well. They should have kept this hair for him. Um, same with MK. I mean, not that I dislike the styles they have now, but I do prefer these. Oh my gosh. I really hope we can get their second win this era. Hopefully that will happen. So you definitely deserve it. Chain always looks so cute though. My band-aid is making it really hard to flip the pages. Honestly, dark haired Hyojin is I think my favorite look on him. Like of course the red is very iconic and it suits him a lot. But I think I do prefer black hair. But I feel like I prefer black hair on like almost all idols, so... Wow, oh my 
my gosh. Ah, everybody's styling this era is just so good. At least WM got that right. Um, if only they could give them nice packaging. That was the photo book. Very gorgeous. Let's take a look at the inclusions now. Uh, okay, so you get this on and off dollar, which is really cool actually. Yeah, super cool. And then, um, okay, there's two, two cards like this and two cards with this back. Um, I'll do these ones first. First one. Oh, we have the ID and I have Hyojin. And then this one. I think this is maybe supposed to be for you. <laughs> so there's that. And then we have the two photo cards. So first one. Changyun! So cute. The cards for this album are like some of their best, I think. And then the other one, this is one I think I saw, so I think it's Hyojin. Yes! Oh my gosh, so cute. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be collecting as far as this album. I would like to collect all members just because I love the photo cards so much. Um, and there's not as many cards per member as there was for the regular album, so we'll see. But always nice to pull a Hyojin who is my bias. And then this is the poster thing that it comes with. We have some messages from the members down here. That's cool. And then that's the other side, which was the first teaser, I think. But here's the city version, or the blue one. Um, I did go ahead and try and nicely cut this, it didn't really work, but it's still better than the last one, I think. Um, so yeah. So again, we have the CD, it's blue. And the lyric booklet. I still think my favorite song overall from the album is The Realist. But I do love this whole album, truly. There's that. And then let me try to move my cards again. Okay. Didn't, okay, didn't see any this time. So it looks like they're, um, the photo books are the same concepts, just different pictures between the versions. So you don't necessarily need to buy both to get uh, like two different concepts or something. Oh my gosh, I love this picture. Oh, he's so pretty. Wow. I was re-watching some of their On The Run series on YouTube the other day, and that's like the series that really made me fall super hard for On and Off. I highly recommend watching it if you have not. Super funny. I think the other version had all the photos that we saw 
as teaser photos. So these are all pictures that we haven't seen, I'm pretty sure anyways. I could be wrong though. Oh my gosh, Utah is so gorgeous. That's the end of that. Let's see if the poster is the same. Yeah, the poster is the same, I'm pretty sure. And then we have the money again. my card so we'll start with the ID. So this is the blank one. And we have Wyatt. Probably won't try and collect these just because. So let's see for this version. Sungjoon. Super cute. And another Sungjoon. So we pulled double Sungjoon in this album. So those are my pulls for um, my copies of On and Off, The City of On and Off. I may buy more sets of albums, I'm not really sure. Um, I kind of don't want to deal with the bag packaging again, but I would like to pull more cards. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.